This isn't the beginning of the real video. I'm gonna make this really quick. It's just a message, okay? Maybe we saw this coming, maybe we didn't. Did I see this coming? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Now that I'm on winter break, Maybe I'm a little fashionably late, but I had to get things in order. I just love you all so much. I'm so unbelievably grateful for you, but I never really know how to like tangibly express that. So for every single holiday video, there will be a $300 giveaway to one of you. Now you might be wondering, Morgan, how do we win this $300 Holloway, Holloway, oh, sure, a holiday giveaway. So literally all you have to do is one, be subscribed to this vlog channel. Two, follow me on Instagram at Morgan Adam. Leave a comment below pertaining to literally anything about whatever vlog is going up that day. I'm not going to tell you what to comment because I'm just going to let you comment whatever the hell you want to comment. Leave me your Venmo so I have a way to pay you. And two, leave me your Instagram handle so I can follow you back and we can be friends. And now we can actually get into the video. Sorry, that was just my quick little message. Okay, bye. <laughs> so before you look at that smile and think, wow, what a nicely put together happy young <laughs> lady. What lives behind these eyes of fear is an apartment that is currently in the state of pure chaos. And for some reason, every time I finish a school semester, this is exactly what my apartment ends up looking like. This video documentation is my desperate attempt to get things back in living order. <laughs> Hi, happy December, everyone. I do one of these every single December because tis the season of pulling it together at the last minute. Unfortunately for me, my room is my toxic trait. Our room is our red flag. My room is the reason that my eternal peace is absolutely ruptured today. I know that things are getting bad when I stop getting dressed every day because it's too much of an Olympic obstacle course hurdle to walk into my closet and get dressed. That's how you know shit has fallen off the rocker. I have time today to pull it together so I'm gonna pull it together while I have time to pull it together because if I don't pull it together, everything is going to fall apart. Science, logic, Newton, physics three laws. Everything is in motion and I need to stop the motion. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing good-ish. We are just going to go through all of it. Cookie. Are you afraid of Mount Everest? Do you not want to go hiking? Come on, come up the mountain. Let's see if you can climb, girl. Let's see if you can climb. This is Colorado. People go rock climbing and skydiving and crazy shit. Cookie, she's like, bitch, I didn't move to Colorado to climb mountains. I moved to Colorado to sit in little snow cabins and watch. Maybe this is the time while things are already bad that we have the conversation that you were adopted. <laughs> dirty. Dirty. Trash. One thing has made it on a hanger and I feel like that is significant progress. Something that I'll always do is I'll make a little pile of things that need to be like fixed. Like this little skirt, so cute. My fat ass ripped a hole in it. And I'm like, one day when I feel a little Martha Stewart energy crash through my veins, I'll start fixing these things. And then they sit in a pile forever and ever and ever and ever. Next to my things that I want to fix that will probably never get fixed pile, I have a pile of things that can only be dry cleaned. This, it's like, it's really nice, right? So cute. It wasn't necessarily cheap, so I don't wanna put it in the washer and then ruin it, and to be honest, I haven't worn it since New York because it smells like the basement of a frat house. Uh, more like the upstairs of a rooftop bar. I've never once in my entire life been to the dry cleaner, so why I think I should be a bitch with a dry clean pile when I've never been to the dry cleaner ever? I don't know. I guess I've made it to a stage of life where the entire bed can get washed. I wish I was like a Jaclyn Hillrich so I could pay someone to do all this for me. But for now, we're rocking it. If you have ever been under the impression that you want one of these like cute little acrylic tables, cute, yes. 
impossible to keep clean looks dusty crusty musty smudgy wudgy all the time yes this table people always ask me where i got it ryan and shane moved out of their rat infested house they were like we're getting rid of everything in the house they were gonna put it in the trash i was like okay there is no way that I can't Clorox this bitch to where you won't even remember that it lived in a rat infested house. So I took the table, I Cloroxed it, and I've had it ever since, and I call it part of the Shane and Rylan trash archived collection. Cute. A little candle action. This is Alexa, who, oh my god, you deserved it. This is Alexa. I currently have her unplugged because she was pissing me off the other day. Orchid. What we're gonna do right now, we are going to deal with the chair of death. I was hearing all these people talk, and when people talk, I apparently listen. Seriously, don't ask me the logistics, I don't know. But what people are saying is if you start wearing red, like red nail polish, red accessories, red jacket, red flags, all of it. It's like a little instant soup and you just become a little successful bad bitch. I don't know. Oh. Be honest, do I look like a fork? But the red, I literally just got this at Nordstrom Rack two weeks ago and I don't think I've ever been complimented more on a piece of clothing in my entire life. If you have a Nordstrom Rack around you, run. Don't walk, run. Return pile. Also in the return pile, a fall cleanup trash bag, if you know what I mean. So you hearing what I'm hearing? Imagine you went out with some dude and he was like trying to like put his arm around you and it's like, It's giving frozen chicken in a plastic freezer bag that's been in your parents' basement for like the past 40 years. I'm returning it. Oh, 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 I'm so upset right now. I put this on the chair because last week when I washed my sheets, I forgot to wash this one and I was like, okay, well next week when I wash my sheets, I'll just put it in with the sheets and I already put the sheets in the wash. This is so freaking stinking cute. Brown leather skirt. Yet another thing for the dry clean pile. My taste is consistent. Apparently my style is anything that looks like a loofah is an immediate yes. Oh, nice. Nifty paper towel roll. Welcome to life at 3.30. Woo! Move the candle because I can already see how that would end. I want to try having the bed without the box spring. I have accepted the fact that through these windows, basically all of Denver can see what I'm doing on any given time at any given day. And I've just decided that I don't really care and I just live my life as normal. Uh-huh. Bros, I definitely like that you can see more of the headboard. Cons, it feels really close to the ground and for some reason when I'm higher up, I feel a little like, I don't know, closer to Jesus. <laughs> Ugh. Ow. Disregard that. I will say we finally made enough progress to move on to the next section. This is like a genuine question. So I've been having an issue lately. This isn't like a I'm watching what I'm eating kind of problem. This is like every single food that I eat makes me feel like I'm going to vomit. Unless it's like ice cream, like candy, sugar, ice cream, sugar. Food that has always been my go-to. I'll go, I'll get it, I'll eat it, and I'm like, uh, uh, repulsed, it tastes horrible, it looks horrible, it smells horrible. When I put it in my mouth, I'm like, uh, 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 uh. I've never had this problem before. I don't know what my problem is. I really wish I could eat food and like enjoy myself. Not good at all. Okay, let's clean this bitch for real. I have four of these little acrylic bins and once the four acrylic bins get full, I'm like, okay, it's time to start purging. These little guys are things that I use on like a daily basis. CeraVe, contact solution, sunscreen, makeup brush cleaner, Aquaphor, self tanner, so this is my cleaning resume. If you like what you see, you can audition to go on a date with me and I'll be your very own housewife. You know what this is karma for? When I yelled at Cinderella to get on her knees and scrub the floor, bitch. 
Cinderella, just clean the floors, bitch. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow! I don't know any of the storylines at all. has been wow. picked up. Wow, she hoovered she back in that drop. Damn! Ooh, Ugh, the joys of motherhood. Wow, nothing says I'm not depressed today like the mop and the vacuum. These are my two favorite perfumes. Ariana Grande Cloud, Bacadath Rouge 540. This one is like 40, 50 bucks. This little bottle is like $300. A designer fragrance. Every single time I wear this, absolutely nobody gives a fuck. I think one time in an elevator, a very old man was like, that's Bacadath Rouge 540, my wife wears that. Every single time I wear this, at least two people are like, what are you wearing? This is crack cocaine. This is crack motherfucking cocaine. Don't even ask me what it smells like. I don't know, it smells like a man's wet dream, apparently. Oh, you want me to tell you about the worst skin product of all freaking time? I'm about to get annoyed, so I have to move into a more peaceful area. Eventually, I was able to buy the Barrier Restoring Cream, and then this is the one that everyone graves about, the glazed donut, the peptide glazing thing. So I got these in the mail. I was so excited to try them because everyone was raving about Miss Haley Bieber's skincare line. Okay, now that I have emotionally recovered from this, I will show you pictures of what Hailey Bieber's skincare line did to my skin. It did not make me a glowy, ooey, gooey glazed donut. It gave me skin rashes that bled for days and days and days and days, and it took an entire month for my face to feel normal again. I would have been better off rubbing straight bleach on my face. So if you're wondering if you should go through the hassle of buying Road Beauty, don't. Okay, if you've ever listened to anything that I've ever said in my entire life, don't. For today, the bedroom is clean. The bathroom is most definitely clean. And I just looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, it's time for bed. So we're gonna do the rest tomorrow, but I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. Okay. I have been unable to get this little sleepy log out of the bed because I just took all the rest of the bedding out of the dryer this morning. So it's nice and luscious and warm. Test it out, test it out. Oh, oh. You look over here and you're like, okay, looks great. It just continuously gets worse. Do you see how I can stand in specific locations and it looks like I live in a completely clean, tidy, perfectly kept up apartment? Pulling this together is my Sunday activity of the day. Happy Sunday. While we are cleaning and the theme of the week is getting rid of all of the bacteria in my life, I thought I could debrief you on the two dates that I went on this week. Don't ask me why, but these men have just been <laughs> knocking at my window. You know, I've been feeling bold. I've been feeling spicy. So I'm like, yeah, sure. Okay, why not? Bath and body works. I can never figure out if it's bed, bath, body work, whatever the bath. We have an applewood clove. Give it a sniff. Bright Christmas morning. Mahogany teakwood. At the store, I was just taking a best guess based on their name because once I smell like two or three, I get really dizzy and I can't smell any of the rest of them and they all start to, oh, that one slaps. Spiced apple toddy. Toddy my waddy the fuck up, that smells so good. So I go out with this guy and we're sitting in a bar and you know, I was being all cute and fun and I was wearing this hot outfit. What always happens, right? Like these guys are interested in you first and he's not really seeming like he wants to chat. So I start going to the bottom barrel of my questions and I'm like, so what do you do? Seems like an appropriate question to ask just about anyone if you ask me. And he was like, I don't talk about work when I'm not at work. Very, very offended by the question. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> whatever. And then he's like, so what do you do? I'm not offended by the question. So I answer, I'm like, oh, casually trying to explain. I make YouTube videos. Right now I'm working on renovating a house. And a lot of my videos are about that. And I love it. It's so much fun. And he's like, oh, so basically you are broke and unemployed. <laughs> You know, the girlies that get it, get it, the loser men that don't, don't, and they never will. So I just say, sure, I'm panicked. I'm 
high anxiety now this man is like scary i lie to my night he gets up and he goes to the bathroom and there's this cute girl she's sitting alone she's like two seats away from me so i scoot my little butt over and i start talking to her and i'm like oh my god this is bad clearly i was having a good time and she's like omg I've been listening. This is bad. You gotta go. She's like, I've been trying not to laugh. He's so insane. We walk outside, we're walking around, you know, this area that I'm really familiar with and we pass this little store and I'm like, oh, I love that boutique. The lady that owns it is so great. Like she started it herself. She's really nice. And he was like, oh, that's too bad. <laughs> because you definitely can't afford anything in that store. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> And now I'm out of time to tell you about the second date, so stay tuned for that because it only gets worse. I have forever been meaning to get a rug in here. Faux hide brindle. I hope it's the right one. It looks really like, I don't know, not voluptuous. Like shut the fuck up and take my money. I have this little teeny vase with these little teeny feathers. I was like, I wish that was bigger. And I walked into World Market and they had the exact same thing, just bigger. And I was going up the elevator. I had my rug in one arm, my little broomstick feathers in the other arm. And this lady comes in the elevator and she was like, are you planting feathers for Christmas? And I was like, no, obviously not. But these are for Christmas. And she was like, that is just so decadent. And the, I was thinking, oh, she complimented me. And then I walked out of the elevator and I was like, I think decadent means literally like the decline of society. Gigantic vase. Dicks go in the hole. Cute. We're gonna have to play around with it a little bit. Roll. Thank the Lord, heaven, Jesus himself. I woke up today feeling like my greater self. I think the curse of having my brain is that every time I have a bad day, I really wanna start getting all introspective and think it all through. Why did I have such a bad day yesterday? Why did I wake up feeling like I was in a crisis when there was no crisis to be found? Like smooth waters were on the horizon and I still felt like my ship was getting rocked all around. It's also winter, which I feel like can put the most mentally tough people on to the rocky seas. So, you know what? Maybe cleaning out my entire apartment made me also inspired to clean out my entire mind. And there was some, there was some guck and muck in there. There was some lost feelings. There was some reminiscing on past relationships. There was some tears. I wake up and I feel like it's doomsday. Maybe just let it be a doomsday and tomorrow is a brand new day. So here we are. Today is a brand new day. The good news is we are in the final stages of this. The bad news, I saved the worst for last. It's not that bad. It's really not. Favorite food of all time. You know, the good thing about being a person that hates to grocery shop is things don't often go to waste. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Unfortunately, that's mold. Woo -hoo, we're getting crazy. Crazy. Wonton strips, croutons. Do you notice how every food that I own is the exact same color of tan? If I was a mom popping out six little kids, like say I was a Utah girl already married, popping out six little kids, that's not shade because I'm from Utah and it could have been my reality. The piece of advice that I would give them is that if you keep up with cleaning, like the little things as you go throughout the year, like a seasonal, a nice seasonal wipe down of everything you own, then once you get to the point where you need to move out, it makes your life significantly easier if you contain while you go. So. The pantry, not so bad. The fridge, this is where we find ourselves in a hot little fiasco. Well, oh, that's the ha other half of the chicken wrap that made me sick. Good. This is probably the most me thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. A mini potato taco that I forgot that I had. Horrifying. There's not a single thing in this pan. I just decided that I didn't want to deal with it when I was done with it. So I was like, you know what? It's safe in there. It's safe. This has surpassed the point of being sad. At this point, it's quite literally just pathetic. 
Okay, I'll drink the rest of that. There are some times in life where a little Clorox wipe will do for good measure. And then there are times where more desperate and extreme precautions have to be taken. There is literally nothing that's more offensive to me than a crusty, dusty, scuffed up wall. I like to get on my fucking knees. Magic eraser, the walls, the footprints, the shoe prints, the handprints. Last load of laundry. I thought while well, now my apartment is officially 100% clean up to the way that I wanted it to be clean, I could give you a very unofficial, a furnished apartment tour. As if this is like architectural digest and as if you care. Starting at the beginning, these are clothes that I need to give away. First things first, we have an island. It's not Hawaii, it's not Bermuda, it's not Greenland. It is my very own kitchen island. You can sit on the island, you can scroll on the island, you can sext on the island. Sink for sinking objects. I have these cute little safari animals that I got for my birthday to hold these little pictures that we also took on my birthday. I don't know. It gives me like Lion King circle of life. It gives me hope. For those who question my dignity as a person, I do have reusable straws. One thing about me, I always have a clean fridge. It looks like this all the time. The freezer, well, okay, this isn't a good look. I definitely splurged ever so slightly on these bar stools. They're from a store called Denver Modern. I love them, I love them, I love them. I like to call them marshmallow mounts because Cookie and I are both a little thick right now. Photos, so cute. I actually got them. When Trinity and I, our last day when we were in New York City, we were walking down the street and some guy was selling these prints. Picked out four, brought them home, went to Ikea, got some frames. Now they live on the wall. Cute. I put these here intentionally because if you're looking in this mirror, you can position yourself perfectly to where you can see the frames, see the feathers, see the background. You'll have a cute little space for a picture. Alexa is currently unplugged because, oh, no, she's not. She's awake. Don't start talking. No. What you don't see is underneath it says cocktail. I don't know if you've ever looked into getting a nice new modern clean looking media console that's big and has a lot of storage in today's economy. You better be ready to give up your firstborn child. They're all like starting at $1,500, all of them. And then you have to pay for the delivery. You have to pay for the tax. You have to pay for everything. I went somewhere. It's like a furniture consignment store. I'll have to look up what it's called. I'll put the name here, but I got this at a furniture consignment place and I absolutely love it. A little cluttery. You see that little snake plant down there? My friend gave that to me and currently it is the Christmas tree. So I put, you know, the presents next to the <laughs> Christmas tree. I always try to have some sort of fresh flower situation going on because, you know. Moving along, moving along. I put this snazzy mirror here that's actually from World Market. Most noteworthy place of it all. This is my very own bedroom. Something remarkable about my room that has never, ever, ever made it to one of my room tours before. The live plant is still alive and thriving. This is my desk where I do miscellaneous desk things. This is my chair where I do miscellaneous sitting. This mirror, like all the other mirrors, is the exact same shape. I got this one at Home Goods, and it's really freaking heavy, so I had to have my dad hang it up with a special bolt, but I love it. I did think the spacing through because everyone's always like, Morgan, you can't have the mirrors facing each other. Very, very intentional. So each mirror has its own moment to shine. Is it a win that we can see the closet floor and actually walk in? Yeah, that's a win. I've really, I mean, I've really stacked it in here. Seriously, every day that I get to live here, as well as Cookie, I feel like I'm dreaming. I just never in a million bazillion years thought that I would live in a place like this. Cut back to all of last year and the first half of this year where I literally didn't live anywhere. I kind of just lived everywhere. As we all saw, that made me intensely unstable. I just could not be more grateful to be able to live here, to be able to wake up here, to be able to go to sleep here, to be able to have cookie here, to be able to have all my things here. I am just 
a grateful little being. I am grateful for all of you. Thank you for watching me scrub my toilets. Now that we have everything collectively together, I will be seeing you tomorrow. So, but for tonight, you always get a good night kiss. Good night. I love you.